All right, back to the grind again. Ow, fuck. Splinter. Back to the grind again. I uh, took a little break off for Christmas. Actually, I didn't take a break. I just was too lazy to edit or film anything. Uh, so I'm going to make... This is just like a towel rack with a hanger at the bottom. Um, so that's the rough drawing. I don't have any studs to hit, so I'll probably have to use toggle bolts or anchors at some point, but we'll figure that out after. So basically what it's going to be, it's going to be two uh, U-channels, and then I'll join them at the top, probably the bottom underneath. And it's going to have two shelves with about uh, a foot of space in between them for two towels, so four towels total. And then the bottom will be a two-foot hanger for uh, for you to hang towels and face cloths and whatever else. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going with, and we'll uh, see where we get to. Okay, so I just had a scrap board. I th think it might have been cherry. I don't know. It's pretty light wood, so I actually have no idea what it was. So all I did is I ran through the planer. I should have shown you. I uh, had the board. I had a set length, so I drew it all out, like my cut list on it. So my two shelves, my four runners off the wall, and then my uh, my two uprights, and then my bottom towel rack. Um, so I drew that all on the board so I knew I had enough. And then I ran through the planer, got it flat, and then all I did is I cut it out. Uh, so I cut off... The shelves first because they were full length and then I just um, cut the board into thirds one and a one and three quarter inch it's five and a half inch board with the saw it works out to almost exactly um, and then uh, just cut my thirds into uh, the lengths I needed they're not perfect yet they're a little oversized still on some of them uh, but that's okay I'll trim them down as I need it all right so I've cut some Sorry, I've cut some, I don't know what you'd call that. Is that a full lap or a lap? It's not a mortise and tenon, but anyways, kind of looks like a mortise and tenon. Same thing, really. That's just how I'm going to uh, attach my boards for the 90s for the top, bottom. The shelves will be in the middle. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to put supports on them. I don't really think they actually need it, but... um. We shall see. All right, so I just checked everything fits up great. Uh, next step is gonna put some glue in the joints. I'll use these little 3D printed squares I made to keep everything nice and square. And then I'll compress everything and clamp it up. I'll let you see the time lapse. It's, you know, pretty standard shit, but gotta have something for the video. All right, obviously the clamps I wanted to use were too short, so I had to go overkill, but whatever. So we have compression right here, keeping the laps in the joints. And then we have these squares, making sure that this is a nice 90 on both sides. And then compression, keeping that edge of the 90, keeping this edge of the 90, and then compression this way. Overkill. Hopefully it works. Okay, all I've done is I waited for them to glue up. I sanded everything down to 180, just to make it even. Um, I've decided that one of the shelves is going closer to the bottom and the other shelf will be on the very top. So I don't need to worry about cross runners. I'll just put one little uh, joint against the back just for the um, bottom shelf. And then I'll, I'll have that anchored to the wall. So that'll be strong. Uh, so yeah, I caught these just for the braces between the two sides. So I'm going to run these through the table saw with this back against the, the, uh, fence, just to make sure everything's the perfectly same distance from the wall, from this to there. Um, and then I'm going to take this and I'm actually just going to 
I'm just going to brad nail it together with some glue. That'll be fine. And then I'll, um, I'll probably stain all the black parts up and then I'll have to think about what I want to decorate the rail. All right, this is due for me. I'm not used to recording how I work without holding the camera. So all I'm gonna do, like I said, put these, wait, which ones? Put these brace pieces in between, I don't know if you can see this, you can see this, in between the back sections that go along the wall. And that'll just keep this nice and squared. Looked all fancy and shit. And then, uh, like I said, once this is done, I'll probably stain this section black because I think the towel rack and the shelves are gonna stay natural. I think I'll just polyurethane them. Um, so yeah, this should be pretty easy. Like I said, I'm just gonna glue and tack them. It'll be a joke, no problem. This always goes nice and easy. The brads. <clears throat> Brads are pretty great. They're super easy to use, so you just gotta make sure you don't shoot your own finger. Let's uh, see how this goes. So when I use brads, I try not to use too much glue because you get the metal. Just use a little. That way it doesn't leak out too bad. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Sorry, boys. Girls, doubt it. Yeah, just something like that. Oh, I should have had the gun on the other side. It's out of the way. That failed. The second and third ones will be much easier than this, I believe. Or, sorry, third and fourth. Especially with the end hanging off the table, it is quite a pain, to be honest, right now. Don't hit your fingers. Beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty soft wood. I don't know what this is, but it is very soft. Honestly, I could probably go like this, couldn't I? That'd be pretty square. Easy. Done. That one anyway. <sighs> yep, that works great. Nice joint. So then this one will go over here. Like I said, these ones should be significantly easier. You know what I need? Some freaking table space. That's what I need. My own fault. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. I wonder if I'm going to keep any of this talking in the video, or if I'm just going to blurt it all out. What do you think? Ooh. And what I also didn't do is check to see if you can even see me. Hmm. This could be all for pretty much nothing. I think with these type of joints is you want it square but I'm not too worried about it being square right now because these will be pliable enough that if I need to I'll be able to bend it square when I put in the shelves which will keep everything nice and squared 
and then I won't have to worry about any of this. One of those was a little high, not a big deal. Like I said, yeah. not a huge deal. Also, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I have had, I bought a cheap miter saw. I buy cheap tools. That's just the type of person I am. But I finally got a real like machinist square and I suggest buying these because I just went from never being able to cut straight on my miter saw to having the squarest cuts I possibly could. And it is, well, it's awesome. It's great. It makes your life a lot easier. So I suggest if you have $17, go buy a cheap one on Amazon. Or like probably like 11 American. I don't know. They're not expensive and... It was definitely worth it. I have no regrets at all, for sure. It's quiet with no music playing in the headphones. Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder how long this section of the video is. Beautiful. Pop, pop. Here. Same kind of concept. Yeah, so you can tell I recut this wood because I had an old board, like I said. That way I can just use some nice wood. And um, it must have warped a little from when I cut it because it is trying to bow. I don't use the exact all right well there it is next step is obviously to put it on the wall i'll uh take you through a quick look at what i did so for most of it this pocket was you know just simple up here this board is pretty twisted so it just drilled straight down That'll be high enough, you won't really notice it, even if you do. It'll look rustic or whatever you want to call it. And then over here, the pocket holes into the brace, and the pocket holes into the shelf. The shelf is pocket holed into the front. And on the bottom, I just went right up through with some uh, deck screws, which should hold up to the bathroom nicely. Yep, so um, uh, the next video will just be that being hung and used. All right, so here's where the tower rack is going. Like I said, there's not really any studs here. I know it says that's one, but that's way too small for me to hit. Plus, my center is right here. I only have nine inches, so I can't hit these two studs. Well, so we're gonna take this down and we're gonna use these. These are the best recommended I saw. They're toggle bolts, but they're zip ties. And um, yeah, I pre sprayed these dark black, which make our lives make my life a little easier so that way you won't see them so bad when they're hooking that up. All right, so I'm going to go pull this down, and then I'll, uh, I'll drill some holes and mount it. Didn't bother <clears throat> recording making this one. Just another shelf. Pretty simple, just pocket holes on the joining pieces. And then up 
top, of course. And then all I'm going to do is <clears throat> paint some screws black and I'll paint it underneath the top of each of these and just drill into a stud and drywall anchor on this side because it'll be right in the corner. And it'll look uh, half decent, maybe. Still got to clean up that edge, paint it, or uh, stain it, and then do a final sanding and finish because you can tell it's kind of splotchy. Anyways. Oh, there you go. The shelving in the bathroom done. <laughs>